What is up guys, Propler Apathy back in the building with a new video, a series I've always wanted to continue, but I've just been distracted and basically ghost MIA for like three months. Just recently started getting back on the grind, started posting more videos consistently, and you know, I just was so focused and so just driven to become a better player and other and obviously I was underperforming, our team was kind of underperforming, so I wanted to do and be the best I can for my team. But now I'm back. I want to get this series continued and done with for you guys so I can give you the best tips and help you guys become better players. And hopefully one day, you know, you can use these tips to become pro. And I would love to see that happen. You know, if it happens, you got to hit me up. You got to be like, yo, app, your tips, man, they really help. Freaking pro player now, you know. Good shit, man. You know, randomly. I mean, I'm not going to know you became pro, but you know, you became pro one day. And then you players are pro and he just tells you that, you know, that'll be cool. But other than that, I am playing some rank play. You're going to see some beams. You're going to see me kind of, you know, smoking some kids. But I hope you enjoy that. So, let's get right into it. Tip number one. Uh, this is a basic tip, but I feel like it's a tip I must go over because it's like one of the best things on how to get better. And I am really just want to help you guys become better players in general. Number one, get good aim. I would like you guys to have better aim. I would like you guys to shoot straighter. Now, that's going to take some time for some of you beginners. If you already have that, well, good. You can kind of skip this step. But, you know, every COD Pro has pretty much good aim, right? For the most part. A majority of pro players have good aim already so that's like kind of set in stone but that's like one of the biggest things when it's being a good player you need to have good aim so make sure you practice your shot make sure maybe you need to lower your sensitivity uh playing a lot obviously always helps you know um use maybe a scuff controller use cold apathy for five percent off but um seriously just you know play a lot get the right sense and just practice like practice 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 shooting bots can really help i do have an improve your aim video if you guys want to check that out maybe that'll help you guys out um, but yeah, that's one of the biggest things, but let's skip that. Let's just go to the next step already because that's not really important. Uh, just a basic step, but next tip, watch VODs. Now, watching VODs can be a little bit tedious at times, but I guarantee you it is one of the most important things on how to get better and how to improve. Now, if you are an amateur or a beginner and you watch pro players at the highest levels and you, you know how much things you can learn and how much things you can pick up? Now, there's obviously YouTube videos of scrims being posted. I've posted some scrims before. I know members on Optic. And there's certainly other players who have done the same. Watching those scrims and intaking all the information you can, it's not about just watching someone get a nasty three-piece. Oh, my God. His shot is so good. It is way more than that. Listen to the comms. See what they're saying. Be like, hey, let's pinch it. Let's, let's go around here. It's a good play. Let's do this. You know, listen to those things. Not only that, see the positioning. See how they're positioning themselves on the map, on the certain hills, on control. See how they're they're maneuvering around the map. See how what happens. Like, hey, they just caught the A point. See how they, they approach the B point now. Look at all the things the pro players are doing and try to take in all the information you can and then apply it to your gameplay. Apply it to your team. Apply it to yourself. I guarantee you, man, you're going to get better. You will learn. You will just be... It's like... It's like if you're a brand new basketball player and you watch people at the NBA, you see them all do these crazy shots, these, these jump shots, step backs, like dribbling like crazy. And you're like, oh, like I could do all this and I could pick this up. And they, obviously you have to practice it, but it's just easier, man. It, it's all that info, all that, all that knowledge is just in front of your face. And you know, when people stream like money tens, bro, like I stream money tens before you got some of you guys watch my stream. There's other players, pro players streaming money tens. Like, see how they play. Like, see how they take gunfights. Uh, you know, see how they position themselves on certain hills. See how they maneuver around the map. See, just watch, focus on all the important things. And really try to just suck in that knowledge. Like, I know, I know, like I said, it can be a little bit tedious. I know you guys watch the gameplay because it's cool. And it's fun and it's, and it's interesting. And, you know, you like to see people get smoked and turned on and world starred. But... If you are very serious about becoming a pro player, if you are very serious about this and you really want to make this a career or a, your one of your dreams or one of your goals and you really want to do your best to do it and to accomplish that, then I would really, you know, obviously you don't have to do it every time, but when you watch these streams, you know, when you're, you're, you're really focused in, you really want to get better, then just look at it, try to suck in knowledge, try to do your best to really intake everything and try to learn biggest thing is try to learn man because i'll be honest with you and i'm gonna say this i've said this before maybe one two videos maybe a couple years back maybe two years back but back in iw when formal started streaming tens and i remember like the middle of iw it was kind of average uh, i i drastically got better towards the end i mean i was grinding i was putting in a lot of time i was really going hard but aside from that 
I remember watching Formal Stream, and I and I saw like the way he played sometimes, the when the, the stuff he do, and like the, the the way he take gunfights, and I honestly learned from him. Like watching Formal Stream made me a better player. And, you know, it's crazy how good, you know, watching someone like how much better you can get just from watching, just from learning, just from yeah, it's not playing. Yeah, it can be kind of boring sometimes, but in the end of the day, it's worth it, man. So I really recommend you guys to do that. Tip number two is watching your own mistakes, watching your, it's its sort of like watching VODs still, but learning from your mistakes, watching your mistakes, watching your own VODs, see what you did wrong. Now, I know it can be a little bit difficult because maybe you, you can't, you can't figure out what is the mistake. Maybe you, you don't understand what you did wrong. And that goes hand in hand with watching other people, watch other, watching other pros, watching other pro teams and seeing what they do right. So you can kind of adjust and uh, really figure out what you're doing wrong. So you go kind of hand in hand. But, you know, when you die, right, let's say you died pushing something you shouldn't have pushed or you overchowed something and you lost a good position that could have possibly got you killed, etc, etc. That's those are the more of the amateur and beginner mistakes you can really learn from. And if once you get really good at getting kills and really understanding like good positioning and you know how to approach certain gunfights and how to, you know, just all those little things. Then you can get to the more advanced stuff like setting up flanks to block spawns or just blocking spawns in general or helping your teammate to secure like a crazy hill or just a setups, you know, things like that. That's what that's more the advanced stuff. And obviously, maybe if you're already a more advanced player, you understand kind of those things, then you can learn that as well just from watching your VODs. You know, there's theater mode in Black Ops 4, which is phenomenal. You know, I you know, you can use it. I use it sometimes and it's really good because you can go back. And watch your own gameplay. If you play league play and you and you suck, let's say you you play a league play game hard point, you sucked. You know you went negative. You're like, what the hell was I doing, man? I usually play good, and you're playing good players. You can watch what the good players are doing, and or you can obviously, well, you should watch your, yourself number one, and you can see where you did wrong. You know, maybe you took a bad a, a couple bad gunfights. Say you don't take those gunfights. Instead of dying, you live and you get a kill. Now your stats are way better. Now you're positive. You know things like that. And it's really important, man. It's really important to watch your VODs, watch your, your your gameplay. And I know, like I said, watching VODs, it can be a little bit tedious. I know people love, including myself, I really, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But if you're very serious about it, if you really want to improve, I think it's re really important to do that. And just hand in hand with watching other players and watching, you know, other teams the most you can. Now, another thing is just playing a lot in repetition. Now, I know this is kind of obvious, but I've, I've said this before on how to get better. And people always ask me. You know, I, I, I give the basics of just playing a lot, but I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth because this is a video that I, I'm, you know, it's a very important video and I really want to give you guys in detail what I mean. So, repetition. So, when you go into a gunfight, let's say this go door right here. Every time I take the gunfight, let's say before I used to just slide in and just try to like slide chow and I died, I died, I died, I died. After the third or fourth time of dying, I'm like, all right, this doesn't make sense. I'm just dying. This, this gunfight doesn't work this way. I'm just gonna die. I'm, I'm putting myself at disadvantage. So now, let's say the next time I'm just sitting there pre-aiming, and the guy just slides on me, kills me again. I'm like, all right, this is still not working. I'm just getting cameraed now, so I can't just sit there and pre-aim. So then, let's say the next time I'm like, all right, I, let me try to camera him back and just like hit a strafe with the sub. So now I come around the corner and I try to camera strafe him and I kill him. I'm like, oh, okay, so this works. So just from repetition and seeing a lot of stuff, that, like a lot of the gunfights, just I mean, repetition works in gunfights. It works in like head headies. Let's say the guy's like in a certain heady, and you learn how to like really easily center on the heady because you know you're expecting someone to be there. You just snap on him and you kill him. Just repetition like that is very important on becoming a better player and improving. But that's just being a crit, like being your own biggest critic. You know you can't let yourself like when you're playing. You like I said earlier. I don't know if I said it. Maybe I said it. But it's about grinding smart, not only about grinding hard. Like, you want to put in the time. You do want to grind hard sometimes. But it's obviously, it's also about grinding smart and figuring out why things are working. Why I'm dying some in certain areas. Why why am I over -challenging? You know, like, all these things. It's about repetition and continuously doing it over and over and over and over again. And that's why when you see people who grind, man, the grinders in Call of Duty, players like Gunless, who plays a shit ton, bro. War War 2, he was the highest pro player probably ranked in pubs. He is a high rank right now. I'm a pretty high rank too myself, but I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to go here. But you know, he puts in so much time and he is nasty. Not only is he just a smart, really talented player, but bro, he it's so rare for him to lose gunfights. And you can see the way he his gun skill is and the way he takes certain gunfights and the way he approaches things. 
Like he just he puts himself in such a great position to win a lot of those gunfights. And that's what I mean by repetition. Make sure you're doing those repetitions and just kind of hand in hand with that one as well. Just trial trial and error, you know, testing stuff out, trying stuff out, pushing stuff out, being like, alright, this works, this doesn't work. Or you push something out, you die, and you're like, oh, I should, probably shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to die every time. And the more you do that over and over again, you're going to just continue to figure out what works and what does it. And then you're going to continue to get better. So those are like co both cold but hand in hand. But those are like my biggest tips for you guys. And I hope you really take them serious and you hope you guys really listen. Because I guarantee you, man, if you really follow through with those tips and you really apply it to your gameplay and really try to figure out what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right and seeing other pro teams and players see what they're doing good, and what you can do to make that happen on your gameplay and your gameplay and apply that, you're going to get better. It's like crazy how it works. But I hope you guys seriously enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is just another one of those how to become pro, road to pro. And this one was how to get better.